In this video, I'm going to show you how to import georeference imagery into InfoWorks to improve the quality of the default base map. Hi everyone, you're watching BIM Lounge, a design technology space where we can learn how to stay efficient and create more. In previous videos, I showed the power of InfoWorks when it comes to site design for your BIM project. The only problem is that the quality of the base map was very low. So if you do have access to higher quality imagery, and if you know your coordinate system for the project, I highly recommend you use this workflow from schematic design to final visualization. Let's get to work. Now that you created your InfraWorks model based on the extent that you defined and based on the coordinate system that we specified within the model properties, let's look at the result. If we zoom in, we'll notice that the resolution is not very high and you can uh, you cannot really discern all the details that may be required for a project. What we can do is access the data sources and under ground imagery, you'll see that this is the raster image that comes by default with InfraWorks. So if you double click, you see that the Bing maps default is 17 tile level and it could potentially go up to 19 but it takes a really long time to refresh your whole model and there's no significant improvement in image quality so what else can we do well i can uh, show you how to import a high resolution imagery and in this case we'll look into near map for this exercise i set my internet browser to full screen to avoid any distractions now let's zoom in so I can show you a sample of the quality that you can get with a service like this. You see, you get a, a very, very good image quality. Now, our goal is to capture the site plus a fairly large context around it. So let's look at the tools that we have available. On the tools, export, export imagery. We're gonna go ahead and define an area. The first thing we need to pay attention to is the projection. And in this case, I know based on the project information that this is my projection. And for all these files, it's critical that we include a georeference file. And let's download. Now see, we, we can't really pick a large area at the highest resolution. So what we'll have to do is uh, create a mosaic around our site and download multiple images. So for example, we can set this maybe a larger area. This is a good resolution. So we can go ahead and save this file and then move this rectangle to the side and make sure that you get at least some overlap to make sure that you don't have blank areas. And then you can proceed with going south. You can save and then complete the mosaic with the fourth image and save. Now that we have all the files in the same folder, we can go ahead and insert all these images into InfraWorks. Before we do that, let's look at the default that we currently see. This comes with the InfraWorks and it's located here, ground imagery. Now, one way to do this would be to add an item to the data source. Uh, but another way to do it would be to, for example, or order all these files by type and, so that we can easily select just the images and we can just drag and drop. Now, at that point, the images are not configured, so we automatically get the prompt to configure the data source. And all you have to do here is really assign the same coordinate system as the overall InfoWorks file. And in my case, it's the top of the list. And close and refresh. So now that the images are done loading, we can take a look at the result. Let's zoom in. And as you can see, there's a, an area with a different color and that's obviously the area 
that is covered by near map or whatever your higher resolution imagery is and you can see even on the side by side that the resolution is a lot higher than the default that comes with uh, infraworks so definitely an option to keep in mind now that you've seen how easy it is to geolocate imagery within infraworks you should be able to apply the same principle to all the other file types that infraworks allows you to insert now different aerial imagery services have different coverage so a question for you what are some free or paid resources that you would recommend for your area specifically let me know in the comments below and thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video